everyone, welcome back. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another VGC 2020 best of three for you guys versus racing from my Discord. Now, I actually had to set up this lighting and the camera and the green screen for the for the face cam, because I put up a little poll. I put up a little poll and I was like, hey guys, do you want me to do a face cam for my battle videos? Uh, I, I believe the options were, should I use a face cam? Yes, no, I don't know what you look like, so just use it. <laughs> And most of you guys voted for yes, so, um, I mean, whatever gets me to shower and shave, so leave a like for shower and shave, and let's try to hit 100, 150 likes on today's video uh, for cleanliness, and comment what kind of soap do you guys use? Uh, the other day, uh, I, I was questioning myself, like, do I have a specific brand loyalty? I'm kind of an Old Spice kind of guy, um, but that's just me. So, Rayson is going to be using uh, a rain team today, and I'm kind of concerned about Gigantamax Venusaur if they have it. Um, I'm still going to be rocking this hyper offensive Thievul and DD team. And it looks like one of my best options here is gonna be Rotom Wash. They don't necessarily like that matchup. Uh, mostly because Rotom Wash deals with a lot of their Pokemon. Uh, it's able to check Dreadnought, it's able to check Pelipper, it's able to check Rotom Heat. Um, so I think I'm gonna lead off that way. That just seems right. Yeah, so I'll lead off Rotom Incineroar, I think, and the reason I'm, do I want to lead off Incineroar? I'm kind of concerned about that Bisharp. I, I really just want to be able to intimidate the Dreadnought. Let me think. I'll actually go Rotom Amoongus in the lead, and I'll bring Incineroar in the back, maybe? I don't know. This team uh, is kind of problematic for Psychic Spam. I definitely think I want Terrakion. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. So the reason I'm leading off this way is because I, I would really rather not, um, like, just give them a Defiant boost immediately, like, right off the bat. So I'm going to play carefully here um, and just bring the Incineroar in the back in case they don't lead off with Bisharp. I can still Intimidate the Dreadnought and probably deal with it with Rotom Wash. But it looks like Nasty Plot Rotom Wash is going to be my best friend in this matchup. All right. So... That's the one thing. You guys are going to see me like do weird stuff while I'm like thinking about my moves. I'll be like, I'll just be doing weird stuff with my fingers. I might chew on my fingernails. I'm not really a fingernail chewer though. I'm not really um big on that. So, um, I can definitely actually take a hit from this Pelipper if it decides to go for Hurricane since I'm Flying Berry. I might actually do this. I might just go for the raw Thunderbolt into the Dreadnought slot, as well as put it to... Alright, you know what? Let's Nasty Plot up. I can take a Rock move from this Dreadnought, and I'll go for a Spore into it as well. Because I can take a hit. If they double into the, um... If they double into this slot with... <clears throat> I just choked. Uh, with the Amoongus in it, uh, then at the very least they get a Nasty Plot up. But uh, more than likely they're just going to be going for like a, a Max Rock Fall or... Ooh, a Max Stone Surge? I'm not certain. Um, Stone Surge is going to hurt, but... Or not Stone Surge. Stone Surge is the water type move, I think. Yeah. So there's the water move. It's going into the Amoongus slot, so I can take it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take the Hurricane now, but it should be fine. I get my Nasty Plot off, and I'm actually not in a bad spot. There's the Hurricane, I'm going to eat my Berry. Let's see if I somehow manage to take this. I am max special defense, and Pelipper special attack isn't that great. Nope, I do not. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um, as long as I got my Nasty Plot off, I feel pretty safe with where I'm at. Alright, here I'll be able to get in the Incineroar. Do I want to get an Incineroar? I think it's pretty obvious I'm going to be Dynamaxing my my Rotom here. You know what? Um, I'm going to play kind of fast and loose here. What I'm going to do... I'm adjusting my nose ring. I'm not picking my nose. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, fake out into that Pelipper, breaking what I assume to be a Focus Sash. And I'll actually just max Lightning into it. I'd rather get this attack drop on that um, on that stupid Dreadnought uh, than anything. And I think I should be fine from that point on. Let me see. Uh, it's going to be close. If, if they brought the... If they ended up bringing the... 
the uh, Venusaur, it's going to be a really close one, but I, I don't want this thing to be able to be able to set up a Tailwind, and I should be able to take whatever Dreadnought wants to go for at minus one. So I'll just double into the Pelipper, assuming it's got the Focus Sash. As they withdraw the Pelipper, what are they going for here? Dragapult, okay. So I'm going to get a relatively strong hit off on this Dragapult. It is plus two. So we're Dynamaxing the Rotom here, and uh, the Rain is up too, so I could just go for Max Geyser into this Dragapult to knock it out next turn. Since Rotom isn't grounded, it doesn't really gain anything. Alright, we get the Max Lightning off, let's see how much this does. Really, really good amount. Now, at this point, um, I feel like they didn't bring Venusaur. I just feel like that's that's kind of clear. So what I'll do here is I'll go for a Max Lightning into the Dreadnought to finish it off. And I'll just Darkest Lariat into the Dragapult slot, because I'm more concerned about um, getting Terrakion in safely and knocking out this Dragapult than I am about preserving my my uh, Incineroar. There's the Ally Switch. Okay, um, that isn't too bad, actually. That isn't too bad. There's the Stone Surge, is going to be going into this Incineroar slot. I get my Max Lightning off. Into the Dragapult. Uh, they don't really have a form of redirection. So I should be fine just to Max Lightning into this... Uh, like, I can protect and just Max Lightning into the into the Dreadnought. It should knock it out at plus two, uh, even if it protects. Ooh, there's the Venusaur. Now that's concerning. I will give them that. The Venusaur is concerning. Because they can put me to sleep if they manage to land their Sleep Powder. Let me think here. How many turns of rain are left? Two turns of rain. Um, I kind of just have to go for it, unfortunately. And just hope for the best. You know what, actually? They might... Well, they can't out... They, they should outspeed, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll just... I kind of want to taunt into the Venusaur is the thing. But I know that that is not at all my play, so I'll just protect. Because I would be able to outspeed the Venusaur and stop it from being able to go for its move. Alright, so I'm going to protect my Terrakion here. As they get their Sleep Powder off, unfortunately. That's fine, though. Um, I can just go for Rock Slide here, and I can just try to... <laughs> I mean, Rock Slide isn't too bad, actually. Uh, the Rain Turns never ran out. And I'm faster in both of these Pokemon with Rock Slide. So what I'll do here is I'll just go for like Thunderbolt into the Venusaur in case I wake up and I'll Rock Slide hoping for flinches. They can of course get Dreadnought back in, but I'm not too... They have Wide Guard Pelipper. <laughs> That's crazy. So my, my uh, Rock Slide isn't going to be doing anything. Freaking Wide Guard Pelipper. Okay, that's some tech. I do manage to live, which is nice. Um, get a bit of health back. And I wake up turn one. Beautiful. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be doing anything too substantial here. The rain did stop. So I'm thinking here, if anything, they just get in their Dreadnought. I think they just try to get in the Dreadnought. I could close combat and do they maybe they just switch out Pelipper. That's my main concern. They might just switch out the Pelipper. This is a real close one. Um I could try to Thunderbolt into Venusaur. And Rock Slide again. 
calling their bluff here. I think I have to do that. I'm going to call their bluff. They're not going to wide guard again. As they wide guard again. Yikes. Okay. Well, I kind of have to hope for, like, <laughs> just, like, the best roll ever. Like, for me to somehow live this energy ball. Alright. So they're going to take game one here. How do I adjust? We know that it's G-Max Dreadnought now. And that they do have uh, Stone Surge. Uh, the Pelipper is carrying Wide Guard, so it's likely not carrying Protect. For the sake of preserving information, I'll forfeit the first game here. Because there isn't much more I can learn from the battle. Let me think. I mean... My... Feeble would outspeed the Dreadnought. It would outspeed the Dreadnought uh, if I got my Psychic Surge up. So I might actually go for that. Alright. Let's think about this critically. Last game, they ended up doubling into the Amoongus slot. They ended up doubling into Amoongus. Huh. If I can keep Amoongus healthy, I'm not really in a terrible position. I think I still bring Rotom in the lead. It's just generally a good idea. Hmm. I don't have any Sash users. And if they're going for a water move, there's not much I can switch in there. Maybe I don't lead off Rotom? Hmm. This is actually a really tough call. Here, I'll go Amoongus, Incineroar, Terrakion, Rotom. The reason I'm leading off this way is, is uh, I can go for a fake out into the uh, Pelipper slot and break what I assume is a Focus Sash while getting an Intimidate off first turn because I don't think they're going to lead off Bisharp this game. Like, their last lead was really good. And also, this way, I'm pretty sure I can take the hit. I'm not 100% certain. I could also make a go play and max overgrowth into that, <laughs> into that Dreadnought. Bisharp Dragapult, okay. Now this is a really good lead from them. Because I'm going to be giving them a Defiant boost. I could put them to sleep though. I think they're probably Sash and not Lum. And I can take any hit from that... Um, I can take any hit from this Dragapult. I'm going to attempt a Spore. I'm going to attempt a Fake Out. Yeah. If they Protect this Bisharp, that's a really good play, but I, I know a lot of Bisharp don't like running Protect. Because they're going to Dynamax it. On the bright side, I actually outspeed Bisharp with my Terrakion. So regardless of which one of my Pokemon goes down here, I'm not in a terrible position. I mean, I'm in a pretty bad position right now, but... It's whatever. There's the Shadow Ball. Into the Amoongus. It's going to soften it up to the point where that Max Steel Spike should KO it.
All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Rakion. And I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna click Max Guard. Assuming they're gonna wanna Steel Spike again. And I'll go for this Flare Blitz into the uh, Sharp slot. And that into Max Knuckle should pick up a KO. Because I think they would just double into me. There's the max guard. Let's see if they went for it. There's the ally switch. That's pretty unfortunate, actually. I really hate that. Are they going to do it again, though? I don't think they're going to do it again. Then again, last time, they went for it twice. I'm not going to let them get in my head. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. I'm going to Flare Blitz into that Bisharp as well. Watch. Like, now that I've clicked my move, I'm going to be wrong, and they're going to have gone, they're gonna have gone for it again. Nope. Okay. So I think I just pick up the KO here. They are at plus one, though. Let's hope for the best. As I do not pick up the KO. But uh, I should pick up the KO with uh, Incineroar at the very least. And Incineroar is at plus one now. With uh, Rotom in the back. I'm kind of hoping they have rain in the back, if anything, because um, it makes it easier for it, ma it makes it easier for Rotom. But if there's a Venusaur, I'm kind of in trouble. Actually, I do have safety goggles and Cinderella, so I could just protect and Flare Blitz. Um, I might be able to take a Draco Meteor. It's gonna be real close because we do see they're special. As they reveal the Pelipper. I'll go ahead and I'll just go for the Thunderbolt into the Pelipper slot. And Darkest Lair at here. Assuming... I'm hoping they're not Sash at this point. We have not seen Sash, but it's it's pretty likely that they are. Maybe I'll get like a Paralysis and get real lucky. There's the Shadow Ball. It's going to be doing a chunk. No special defense drop, which is nice. We do see the Sash. Can I get a Paralysis? Can I get a Paralysis, sir? Nope. There's the Skull that's going to be doing tons of damage. My Incinerator does not hang on. And that's just going to be game. They completely swept me this, uh, this set. I don't think there's a way I can win. Unless I get like a crit Hydro Pump and they do nothing. Can recover just a bit here. And I completely whiffed my Hydro Pump, so there's no way I'm winning this game now. Alright, let's just try again. <laughs> Might as well, why not? I want to see how much that would have done. I don't think I'll be able to see though. Alright, well, good game to my opponent. Unfortunately, I wasn't even able to pick up a like a single win within that set, uh, but that's on me, man. Sometimes you're prepared for teams, sometimes you're not. Uh, I definitely could have played it a little bit better. Uh, they completely, completely called me on my uh, second lead. When I let off with Incineroar as my adjustment, they're like, okay, I know he's going to do that. So they lead off Bisharp, and that completely caught me off guard. They played extremely well, so shout out to my opponent. 
Once again, they unfortunately don't have any social media to plug, but if you want to best it through them yourself, they are in my Discord. You can join that in the link in the description down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I know I lost this game. I know I lost. But trust me, if I didn't upload my losses, I'd be called fake. So learn from my mistakes, try to play better than me, and I will also try to improve. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.